The really rewarding thing about early panel portraiture, and this was painted in about 1617 during the reign of James I, is that not only can you enjoy it from afar down a gloomy corridor, it's red flashing at you, but also up close you can read it like a book. I mean, just look at the detail in this, the way the dress is done, with this fantastic repetition of flowers, spring flowers, possibly alluding to the fact that this is a marriage portrait of some kind. And what's she holding in her hand? Clearly a flower, but no normal flower. This is a lily an image of purity, so appropriate for a woman. And those gloves, the elaborate way in which they are embroidered, these gauntlets that she's holding. And in her hair, that fabulous piece of jewellery, twinkling, it's almost three-dimensional. It's almost as if the artist has gone to a jeweller, purchased a piece and just placed it on the picture. And my favourite part, the way those arms are done through the hanging sleeves. If you look at the surface, you can see that it's raised. Again, three-dimensional, as if you're looking at real material. Is this illusion? Is this reality? This is everything a great costume piece from the period can do.